puke, vomit, dirt, grime. Uber and Lyft have some new and strict regulations that you got to follow in order to get reimbursed. In this video, we're going to look at those new requirements because some of our readers have told us that they're not getting reimbursed. And that, of course, is a problem because passengers damage our cars and we want to get them fixed. We shouldn't have to pay for it. And stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you what I really think is going on here. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to talk about some of the more displeasurable things that can happen in your car. People getting sick uh, and, and make it a mess, and then it's on us to approach Uber and Lyft and get things fixed. So let's jump right in with a little look in the past. So from my own personal experience, it was pretty easy in the past to get uh, reimbursed. I had two instance, instances where somebody made a mess. One of the guy was wearing a Halloween costume that had this red blood on it front and back and he sat in the back and it got all over my white uh, car seats and it was just a mess. And then another time a guy dragged his his suitcase across my back seat. Again that was the white when I had the, the Prius. He made these tire marks. Both cases I took pictures, sent in an estimate. Within 24 hours I got paid $129 each time and then I could get my seats completely front and back cleaned and everything was simple and easy. Not so anymore. Number two, Lyft's requirements. So let's take a look at the screenshot here. What we can see is that Lyft is requiring at least two photos, a little story about who did it, you know, which customer did it. And you gotta report the incident either right after it happened or at six hours, whichever is sooner. And if you don't meet that time requirement, Lyft could refuse you. And they're also not asking for an estimate, which means that we really don't have any idea how much they're going to pay. So that's pretty crappy, I gotta say. I mean, with Uber, both of my instances were with Uber, and I could say this is what I spent and they were gonna pay me back. Lyft is just going to give you a certain amount of money just based on the picture of the damage and uh, it may not be enough, depending on where you live, to get it really thoroughly fixed and cleaned. So number three, Uber's cleaning fee. Again, let's go to the screenshot. These are taken directly from their website. And we can see that here again, you gotta provide a little bit of a description, you know who did it. Um, they asked for three photos. But here they give you up to three days in order to report it, which I think is, is fair. Um, and then you also provide an estimate so that they know how much they're going to pay you and they tell you that it can really be up to $250. Now I'm just an honest guy and for me it was $129 to get it fixed and that's what they paid me. So judging from the two, Uber is definitely leads the pack. It makes it a lot easier because you got a little bit more time and you can tell them how much it costs and boom, they're gonna pay you. But now let's look at some situations where Uber and Lyft didn't pay. Number four, Uber and Lyft aren't paying. So let's take a look at this little Twitter exchange, which occurred on our Rideshare Guy Twitter account. And you can see this guy named Paranormal Discovery. He had a rider vomit in his car last night. He uh, got it clean, submitted everything. And then Josie from Lyft just said, we will not be moving forward with your most recent damage claim. What's up with that? You provide an estimate, you provide a picture, and they just say no, and they don't really give you any reason. That's the frustrating part, is this past, this uh, driver was not given a reason, which kind of leaves you feeling really like, well, where's our driver partnership here? Now, it's not just Lyft. Uber also has an instance of not paying, which we were notified of by one of our drivers. Check out this picture. The story behind this picture is that a passenger got so sick, they didn't vomit, they actually pooped. And that picture was sent in to Uber. And in addition to that, there was also a receipt sent in for only $50 to fix that. And Uber did not pay. So again, you gotta ask yourself, you're like, scratch your head, it's like, why, why? We're sending you what you need. And this is what makes it so frustrating is we're not getting any reasons why. Number five, I just got to say, are there these drivers hidden expenses? Because it's not just about not getting reimbursed. 
you got to take time off from driving in order to get things fixed. Let's say you're driving at night and some guy, you know, uh, spews all over your back seat. Well, then you're done for that night. The next day, you're going to spend all day getting your car fixed and you're going to have to probably take an Uber and a Lyft back home and back to the to get the repair. A full day of driving. I mean, that's hundreds and hundreds of dollars on top of the reimbursement. So I guess there's a there's a cautionary note here is be prepared. Carry barf bags uh, for your passengers so that if anyone looks even the slightest like they're going to vomit, have have a bag uh, because then you won't have to deal with this. The other thing that I do a lot with uh, luggage, if I have too much luggage for the trunk, I put a towel down. I put a towel down before I put luggage on top because sometimes people have liquids inside their luggage or the luggage just has you know dirt. So these are a couple of things you could do to prepare. Key takeaways, follow the rules, okay? Uh, there's a lot of things that could happen. Uh, in Lyft's case, if you don't report this within six hours, uh, you, they, they, can, they can say, no, we're not gonna pay you because you didn't report it in time. If your pictures aren't clear, um, they can say, no, it's not clear that there's damage. If you don't provide a good solid estimate that's dated, that's legit, they could say no. So be totally prepared. But what I think is really going on here is now that they have gone IPO, they're public companies, both Uber and Lyft are watching their bottom lines. They're cutting our rates a little bit. They're cutting our bonuses a little bit. They're cutting our, our what used to be called surge in prime time a little bit. And they're probably trying to cut as much as they can from these repair uh, fees, even though the passengers pay it. So that's another thing that could be happening is they are approaching the passenger and the passenger says, what? I didn't poop in their car or what? I didn't vomit in their car. The, the driver's making it all up. And that's why the pictures are so important. And so is the timeliness of your reporting. But basically it's an attempt to keep cutting costs. So they're gonna make it more difficult and more difficult, uh, kind of like squeezing uh, blood out of a turnip, right? It's, it's, it's hard. Uh, but if you follow the rules, you should be okay. Everybody. It's Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. I wanna say thanks for watching. Hope you learned a little something about cleaning fees. Prepare, 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 and avoid it at all costs. But when you got to request a, a, a reimbursement, have all the, your ducks in a row, right? And all this information is available on the website. Just go to the website and just uh, put in the search bar cleaning fee and, uh, and you'll get the information that you need. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel here, absolutely subscribe. We've got a ton of great information, three to four videos a week. Uh, join our team, stay on top of your game, learn how to make more money in less time. That's what we're all about. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Be safe out there.